Hi my friend, we are back to our Scotch Gambit. This is the last part of Bishop take d4 at the fourth move. So let's go forward, see what I'm talking about. This is a Gambit we are talking Bishop takes. This is a critical line that um, Black claims that I win a pawn and I keep that pawn. And last time we said that knight should go back, shouldn't I stay here? And let's go forward. I also will discuss what happens if knight goes to e6 so let's first no talk about c6 and last time we discussed this mm, central moves queen h4 and then finally bringing the bishop out and why black has to play bishop e6 and has to take this knight and last night last time sorry we discussed what happens if knight goes to d5 uh, d4 sorry and uh, we know what to do there are other lines also, bad lines, for example, knight goes to uh, b4, but this is very bad because we simply castle queen side, and then white has nothing, black has nothing to do if castle is queen side. Uh, I mean, there is no good move. Either goes uh, back with the knight, then we simply capture it, or castles uh, either side. Castling king side is awful because we simply kick the knight and then bring the rook uh to the uh g file and this is awful awful for black to play and castling queen side is a natural move that you may play but then again we kick the knight and grab the knight and this is a broken pawn structure and uh only side that can lose is black if you look at the engine engine it says it's plus five even though the uh, plus four even though there is no uh, material advantage but positionally it is broken so let's say black doesn't do bad moves and black goes back with the knight and to b8 of course black also can go to d8 this is again bad move we simply castle and same principle in all lines we have now we open the center as soon as possible we can and uh, enjoy having a, a strong attack running towards our opponent for example here we simply not just getting back our pawn but also destroying pawn structure of black the black cannot castle actually castling is like summer castle everywhere is wide open so and there is no good point about this to discuss it so going back to the d8 is very bad so let's go to the main line knight goes so this line black has good drawing chances okay and it's a game to be played like two bishops in the game um, yes white is down a pawn but has two bishops against two knights also white is up development by a huge margin so um, of course you don't want to stare at your pawn uh, move the bishop away and then just then castle and what's the idea next you want to open up the uh, center as usual you can even even uh, give up the bishop and if uh, for if uh, black goes for such a line like playing h6 you can even give up the bishop and then enjoy the exposed king in the center and open the files this is a typical idea um, idea that you have in all these lines from very early on open the f file attack with your f rook develop f rook and then bring the a rook into the action and win the game of course black can try to defend again if you check with the engine engine says it's almost zero but it's really really difficult to play as a human player with the black because white has variety of options to attack Still, you are down a pawn, but this pawn is not matter when there is a huge attack running. And look at the black's rook; looks ugly in the a8. It's doing nothing. Black is playing rook down. Down. White should be active. Okay, then uh, let's go forward. And after this line, you know, we discuss what happens h6. But main move actually is not h6. Is to castle uh, queenside 
and this is a move that saves black a lot more yeah uh, keeps a uh, pawn advantage of black but uh, still um, white is the side that is attacking the idea is similar as before we just uh, further develop and try to build up our attack and opening the f file as all of these lines you can even exchange the queens if they offer because after series of exchanges, you will get back your pawn and this pawn on e5 will be captured soon there is no way to defend it for black and um, the point is that i mean you can win the knight and then win the pawn the point is that there is a, uh, this is an imbalance game white has a space advantage and again if you can look at it with the engine engine says that it's almost plus one for white but of course at this position white is down a pawn but that pawn will be get back why it is plus one and for to get back that pawn white should give up the bishop for example just to show you a line for example you uh, after let's say black kicks this bishop away then you simply grab the knight uh, cannot grab with the knight should grab it with the rook and then uh, you win one of the pawns at least and it's a very very bad structure for black to play with and the point of this uh, structure why it is so bad is not, not just having three pawn islands but also having much less space and look at the d pawn of white it's not easy to kick it for example kicking like that uh, is not possible because it simply grabs grabs and then wins a lot so it's too much it's space advantage for white and black cannot simply play this game against white and what else i want to say about this position yeah so you don't worry if black offers queen exchange if it, they don't offer queen exchange anyways you will get back your pawn and you have a superior position to play with and there was one more thing i wanted to talk earlier earlier it was at this position again i didn't talk about what happens if castles queen side or something like that because in most of the lines oh earlier it was at this position when castling uh, sorry castling king side uh, you have seen the ideas what to do it's very similar and i don't repeat it already here okay this is the last line that i want to discuss knight e6 knight e6 um, yeah the, the, here is a counterintuitive move you can simply grab the knight and then attack the e pawn attack e pawn to get it back notice that if you win the pawn back immediately then you have a well-developed queen and your pieces are also de well developed the black's white square bishop is locked by its own pawns so black is down development by huge margin and black should defend that pawn otherwise it's very bad for black so black if black tries to defend you just develop the knight and what can black do black should stop the knight for example if it doesn't stop the knight coming in then this is end of the day it takes and then wins the rook so black should stop the knight now, for example developing a piece is a is an option with bishop then we just castle and this game is uh, and this line that i'm showing is not like winning for white it's just uh, showing the ideas what happens uh, black is up a pawn and all the time is uh, bind to the you know, its queen is bind to the e pawn to defend it so we try to double the rooks and we uh, can attack from both wings because we have a very good development as a white if you like it stops your bishop if, um, doesn't play h6 then your bishop can jump in and it's very bad for like so you can attack as i said in both wings and uh, have no you have no fear your king is safe is already castle you just don't allow black to castle and for example after some development move let's say you know you reroute the queen 
to attack the um, in the queen side because you cannot win the e pawn back instead you can win the c pawn here is where we attack of course the idea is clear playing b4 b5 but you should be careful here and don't play too aggressive first kick the knight away this knight is playing a very huge defensive role if you kick it away and force it to go back to somewhere like h8 if it goes to uh, e7 it's even worse because uh, blocks its own queen i mean blocks the queen pass and the queen cannot help in the continuation that you will see which is important and then in the continuation the only good move, the important move that you should memorize here is to bring in queen to the c4 why no, sorry c5 sorry why the idea is to block the black queen to come to e7 and you will see why this is important the idea is that after for example some moves uh, you want to put black into the suksuang and force them to play bad moves uh, and here is where a space advantage matters white has all the space and black has no space so black has no good move actually here notice that you cannot move the knight you cannot move the queen you cannot move the bishop moving the pawn is uh, deadly so if you move the bishop with the grafted c pawn and then all other pawns so the only piece that can move is actually king and the rook so let's say rook moves and then you bring the rook in moving the bishop again is very bad because we get in so again is zug zong and black can play only with rook for example i don't know the rook goes there and you just grab the rook and then win the e pawn and still every piece of black is in its own uh, territory cannot move properly as still black is long zug zong uh, very few pieces can move so you should try to win strategically uh, material is equal but a space is in favor of white and white should try to take advantage of that i hope you enjoyed next time we will go to the line that you will like it more than bishop takes see you bye